The UK Pavilion at the Shanghai World Expo is a sight to behold. Touted as one of the most intriguing architectural structures at the Expo, the Pavilion is a six-storey high cube formed by some 60,000 slender transparent rods. The rods extend from the structure and cuber in the breeze. We wanted to show the UK as being very creative, innovative and different. So we've tried to do that through the actual design of our pavilion. So we've moved away from the warehouse style pavilions that you can see at Expo today and tried to be a, a little bit different as you can see. What made the pavilion even more fascinating is that the 60,000 rods penetrate the interior in the walls and ceilings to form a seed bank or seed cathedral. Visitors can watch, touch and identify the seeds of different plants embedded in the rods and one will certainly marvel at how much these tiny seeds could do for the wonders of nature and life. The Seed Cathedral is really sort of the pinnacle of what our um, expo represents for us. So the message we're trying to get across is the importance of preserving biodiversity for the future. And the seeds are all sourced from the Millennium Seed Bank, which is a project that is being run by um, our Kew Gardens in London with partners in Kunming in China. One of our walkways out of the actual seed cathedral, we have 16 plants. So we have eight real plants and we have eight future plants. And the future plants are actually genuine plants that are being worked up by British scientists at the moment. So for example, one of the plants is a plant that will eventually, one day, hopefully, mine gold. So it will take gold through its roots and display the gold on its leaves. So the idea would be that we don't actually have to dig for gold, the plants will do that on our behalf. So it's about unlocking the harness and the potential of plants for the future. The British architect of the pavilion, Thomas Hedowick, actually described the pavilion as a gift to China and the world. The pavilion sits on a landscape resembling a present paper that was once wrapped with the wrapper lying around it. Here is where visitors can get a taste of British culture, ranging from its rich football tradition to its performers and comedian talents, renowned for their original inventive and crowd-pleasing work. The magnificent pavilion was built on a concept for everyone to share, either the British creative, architectural and engineering designs or simply their passion for environment conservation. Well, we wanted people to be able to try and have an image of Expo and uh, we've designed our pavilion so that you can actually see it from sort of all around the Expo site. So it's got quite low walls. We also have open areas where if people don't have time to queue uh, and they want to go to other pavilions, then they can just take a picture of our pavilion and then just move on from there. So we wanted to be able to have an iconic image that people could remember. Surely, the impression on the pavilion is quite lasting as it draws the visitors to learn of the profound importance of preserving nature in the future evolution of cities.